So the One UI 6 update has arrived on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus and in this video we will look through all these features and also some of the hiccups that I found along the way. So first of all if I go into the system you can see the version and the information. So it is running on the One UI 6.0 and on Android 14. Later in the video you will see the new update for One UI 6.1 update as well. And the biggest highlight is the lock screen changes as uh, many of you must have known already. So we have the ability to resize the clock size and also change its fonts and also the colors. You can also choose the adaptive color so it picks the color from the wallpaper itself. And this is how it looks. Now talking about the battery backup, I've been getting good battery backup so there is no kind of major drops or any kind of new and uh, as you can see in this. Uh, about one hour you screen on time and uses 10% so that's quite good so you don't have to worry about the battery backup now other options remains the same so I do not see any kind of uh, noticeable changes we have the side key options and all the uh, usual multi window options And this is the new Samsung Dex mode and you can enable it from the quick settings or from the settings and this is how it looks. And the new Dex mode actually makes it easier for you to transition between the tablet mode and the desktop mode. So you can see we have the option for the minimize, maximize options which is always helpful. And uh, I found it to be a little bit smoother the transition and everything. So you can easily open up multiple applications in small windows like this. Also the performance has been quite good as I've mentioned earlier. You can easily resize and then move around the windows anywhere you want on the screen. And this will be much more useful if you are connected via mouse or wireless mouse. So then you can take the full advantage of this Dex mode, uh, Samsung Dex mode. So there you have it and 8 GB of RAM on the A9 Plus does help quite a lot in these uh, multitasking so you do not feel any kind of force close or crashes during your usage and you can easily then turn it off from the settings. This new uh, desktop mode helps you keep your home settings as you have on tablet so you do not have to change it every time. So that makes it quite easier to transition between your tablet and X mode. So while recording I got this One UI 6.1 update and uh, it offers a little bit of more of features than the 1.6.0 so let me go over it quickly so you will know if you have to update or not. So right now you can see this is the build number and the information still on Android 14 but uh, one boy, uh, it adds a little bit of more features here and there mostly in the lock screen settings that I'm going to show you. So you can long press on the lock screen to access these settings and this is the biggest new changes we can add widgets now on the lock screen as you may have seen it in different OS like nothing OS or iOS. Now we have the ability to add widgets here in the UI One UI 6.1 update as well and it looks quite good, good and we have uh, the same options for the font and everything that you can change but and we have a new option for the wallpaper as well. So if you choose a wallpaper like this for example, now I have options for filters. So we do not see option for depth effect, it will not recognize this object but you can create this uh, new kind of lock screen wallpaper or your home screen wallpaper using these filters. You can cut, copy and change the colors and it looks kind of good. You can uh, make use of your existing wallpapers to create these creative wallpapers. Um, I personally I find it quite good as you may not have the perfect wallpaper you can use this feature so you can uh, like see more of your clock fonts and everything you can also change the colors using the built-in filters so yes these are the new biggest changes in the One UI 6.1 that I have noticed uh, honestly I would have liked some kind of Xiaomi MIUI update where it uh, like automatically recognizes the subject and sends the clock behind it so it would look more immersive but we do not have that option yet 
um, even in portrait mode this looks quite good so that is a good feature here now uh, going to the settings uh, i've noticed a few settings uh, like changes here so right now i've set it to 60 hertz so in the battery settings i've noticed this new battery protection settings so if you leave it at basic it's going to stop charging at 85 percent and adaptive charging is going to like uh, using the artificial intelligence or something it's going to figure out when you're going to wake up and then cut off charging or complete the charging before that at maximum is going to cut off the charging at 80 percent so if you want to safeguard your battery you can use that feature so this is the biggest issue that i have faced with this one ui 611 update and that is the stutters during the scrolling and uh, going through the apps so they have introduced this bug i don't know why and they have not tested it thoroughly i've tried resetting the device and this does not fix this issue so and and these stutters get really annoying uh, i have noticed it in the applications as well so my advice would be if you are on one ui 6.0 update to not update to this new 6.1 update until they fix this issue so you can check their samsung community to know if they have fixed this issue or not i've already posted there so yes this was the biggest uh, downside but one points uh, like one ui 6.0 update is quite fine and you can definitely update to that that's a good update and i must update as well over the 5.1 so yes that was it for this video and uh, if you have any questions let me know and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching